Okay guys, just decided last minute to go ahead and record making this pico de gallo. Um, we're gonna be using it for burgers, nacho burgers specifically, and um, chicken tacos. So I have seven Roma tomatoes that I am dicing fine. So what I did first, I didn't record that because I just decided to let my husband start recording now what I did first was cut them in half and I used the spoon to get all the seeds and the liquid and stuff out because you don't want that in your pico so now I'm chopping them fine So there's our seven Roma tomatoes chopped finely, well diced finely. Then I'm going to do a red onion. I'd say this is a medium red onion. As I struggle, we just gonna take this extra layer off to prevent the struggle. I'm recording the video okay so I'm gonna dice this one also and the tomato next we're gonna do a medium jalapeno what oh nothing jalapeno and i'm gonna de-seed it it's my little garbage pile i'm pretty sure some of that just flew in my eye so be careful uh oh you okay baby jesus christ do that from the onion. <laughs> Don't be no bad day. All right, so I'm gonna slice these and I'm gonna chop these finely also. Or dice them, whatever. lime juice you want to roll your limes first so you can loosen the juice out of the pulp I usually have my husband do this because he'll make it super soft I don't have that much upper body strength but that's okay so I'm estimating it's gonna be about two lines and this is the way that I do it I do have a a citrus squeeze thing but I find this is super effective so I just use my fork and I twist and squeeze at the same time you see me. makes me want a margarita unfortunately I have to work after this so let's see it might be three Nope, it's two. 
So I just put that in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze these little tops of lime juice. There we go. So far, so good. Now we have to put a bunch of cilantro. So probably about a half a cup. And this is going to be finely chopped as well. I just washed it. No worries. Stinky. It's not stinky. You think cilantro is stinky? Stinky. It smells like grass. It does not. It like grass. <laughs> I'm just going to try to finely chop this. Usually I just bunch it all up together. salt and pepper I'm gonna use Himalayan pink salt and black pepper um, got these from Costco as you can see Kirkland brand I'm just gonna do this by taste I like a lot of pepper okay so then that's pretty much it. Now you just taste it and you doctor it up to your liking. I'm guessing I will probably be putting more lime juice, which is why I took out an additional lime. Can I taste it with a chip? Mm. Okay. So we tasted it with chips. It's super good. It actually has enough lime juice, so I'm not going to add any more, but I am going to add some more salt. I kind of want to add some garlic, too, so I think I'm going to do that. Okay, hubby said no to the garlic. Here, babe. So I think I did like seven of the pink Himalayan salt. So I did three more. That makes ten. A little math lesson for you. But it's really good. So I'm making like the stream and nacho burgers that um, Buffalo Wild Wings used to have. And they put pico, they put tortilla chips, they put, um, there. This stuff, they put pepper jack cheese. Um, the only thing I don't have is the chipotle barbecue seasoning and they do actually sell that and if i had time to go get it i would um yeah so thanks for watching that's my version of pico bye okay oh i broke my chip That's good. Yeah, it is. You want some pumpkin? No. Yeah. <laughs>